Right, I've discovered a little problem with this. This is the um, RF ball from one of the boon tongs I've already repaired. It was working and then it failed again when I was actually doing some comparison testing with the other unit. Um, I may have accidentally bridged across an oscillator output and blown some stuff up. Anyway, I was trying to trace it and it's got two diodes on here. There's one just there, this one see on there, one just there and another one just there. Uh, that's CR13, that one there is CR8 and um, if I, I've actually desoldered one end and that's shorted and so is this one. I had to desolder the inductor originally, trying to diagnose it and um, those two diodes are blown, the shocky diodes and there was one in, one in six two six trees and uh, I'm guessing locally thankfully so I've already bought some away from the turn up. So this is the second unit which I haven't actually started working on properly yet. I was actually troubleshooting it um, with the other one which I already repaired. I need to find out that um, it, the other one I'd already repaired blew up again. Um, what I found is on the other unit which I was just trouble, tr trying to troubleshoot, I found your slate wasn't working. And I just lifted that diode out just like I did in the first unit. And that diode is not shorted, but it's very low. It's like 0 0.03 um, volts in both directions. Um, so that one is leaky and blown as well. So the other one's the other two to check out, okay? So hopefully that's what's wrong with that one as well. Right, and back to these ones now. The um, I keep chopping change between units I'm, I'm fixing. The new diode has arrived today from RS. One six two six three um, to go in here to replace those two faulty ones that are just there, um, which I've already half unsoldered. So I'm going to replace those, put it all back together, and see if that fixes it. Okay, I've uh, just replaced those diodes, and uh, we installed the unit, and there we go, it's working again. So this is uh, thirty percent modulation. I am. That's what I'm doing, 30%. So uh, that's all good. That's working again now. That's repaired at least. Um, I did have an issue with the FET though, I think, because it wasn't oscillating. And I saw the FET with another one, which is identical in a different part of the board. Flip it over. So there's a FET there, which I've got a cross on. That's the oscillator section there with the FET there. I saw those two FETs around, and they're the same part, and then it started oscillating. So I think that's FET there might be faulty. I don't know what it's actually doing because the unit's actually working so that's a bit strange. So anyway we'll see. Okay I'm going to try and take this parts out without taking the board out just to it's because being lazy. Um, it's a double sided board and um, as such I can probably just sold it all from one side. That's the plan anyway we'll see how we can go. Probably gonna prove me wrong now in the recording. Hey. It's looking like it might. Here we go. Right. It's one out. Let's try and uh, get the holes cleaned out. This kind of works. I've only got to do one diode in this one, the other one tested okay, so it's hopefully not too big a job. I'm hoping anyway. Yeah, it doesn't clear out, I'm going to do it the hard way. Okay, so let's get part. And uh, stick that in there. Yeah, a bit noisy out there. So what I've got to do is get this into the holes at least. That one's through there. I'll try and clear that hole out and I'll 
shorten them down pretty close to the right size. Obviously you'll kind of trim it after it's in, so I don't want sticking out too much at the bottom. And I probably could actually just lift one side of the board up. <laughs> I'm taking the whole thing out, losing a couple of screws off. But, uh, it's not what I'm wanting to do. So because I couldn't actually get all that solder out there, well, I could just probably just try refreshing it. Sometimes that does a job. Again, I don't have my filter running because of the noise from that. No, I didn't quite go. Come on. It's going to be a pain, isn't it? Okay. I'm trying to use the side of the tip. I've got to try and get between there and there. It's a bit of a tight gap. Yeah, it's not going to work. So I'm going to have to do it the other way. Yeah, it's fine. Get the new part, drop it in. We've got part of a hole there at least. So I can get it started. Here we just wet it, get it all going, and hopefully it'll drop straight in. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, the other one. So up on the back, make sure they're not sticking out too far. No, it looks fine. I can actually push this side down a bit more, which is good. Hopefully I can get it back down a bit more. There you go. I'll touch the ball just here, nice. So let's try and just make that nicer if I can. Right, so that's the diode in. I'm going to have to refit the inductor now. Again, use the same technique. Try and drop it back into that hole there. Look at that, that was easy. Okay, next one. I'm not only doing it a bit lazy because I don't want to pull the ball out right now and find it doesn't work anyway. So I just want to make sure it's actually going to go. If it all works okay, then I will probably pull the ball out and give it a clean because it will be some flux on the back now. Um, so that's all the parts in. Um, that's plugged in there. Okay, so I shall pause this for a second. I'll plug it all in and try it out. Okay, so obviously there's a diode there which I've just put in and the inductor. Um, I've just hooked up the power, turned it on, and we have 30 kilohertz deviation, uh, modulation level. Deviation, that's FM. And as before, 30% there, 30% there. Um, and level adjustment on here. This button's a little bit dirty, I have to give that a clean, I think. And that is actually showing a level. Um, so, yeah, that's all good. I'm happy with that. The... Um, unit is actually working now. Um, I need to do to test the modulation type so let's do FM at say 25 kilohertz and see what comes out of that. FM 25 kilohertz look at that okay let's do 50 kilohertz 100 kilohertz I can't remember what this thing goes up to now I think it's 250 or something like that let's do 250 125 is as far as my unit will go, so there you go, 125. If I do 2.5, which is what's typical for radio or CB at least, 2.5, 2% variation or 10 scale rather. There you go. So that's awesome. That's actually working. Not too simple. It's level button there. Give it a clean. That's saying plus 10. I don't remember what that's in reference to. Um, so I'll turn the, um, turn the modulation off, turn the carrier off, Let's see what it goes to. It does have averaging and stuff, I think. I think it's turned on. So, right, minus 10. So if I turn the carrier back on again, 
set the level to 10 millivolts which is supposed to be its limit so it's actually stabilizing quite nicely and I'll turn the modulation back on again it's at um, 2.5 kilohertz still so I'll do FM can it read it maybe not or oh, just yes run its limit so let's just do um, wave level 15 millivolts yeah it's not liking that very low level is it um, okay let's do 50 millivolts there we go it's starting to get more accurate now so yeah the um, but the actual limit threshold is um, working AM modulations turn it to AM now 30% again these buttons really need to clean after they do that I think pull that apart that's 30% so it did level again let's try 15 again 15 millivolts again which is close to the threshold yes it's really right there as you know so 50 millivolts seems to be the the point where it gets reliable its spec says 10 millivolts is, the, is its absolute limit so um, it's only slightly off that and that doesn't matter to me because I'm, I'm testing transmitters anyway so the, volt, the millivolts are going to be much higher than that probably in volt ranges we'll see um, okay so I'm happy about that it's this one units this one works too so good job I've got two units fixed all that was wrong with this one was diode so that diode right there which I wish you saw me fix. Um, the rest of it seems to be fine. I don't remember fixing anything else on this one, did I? Oh, yeah, actually don't remember. I'll have to have a look. So that's the second unit. The first unit I'd already fixed in the first video and then blew up whilst I was trying to do comparison testing, of course. So, uh, right, so that's the two boontons fixed. Now I just have to carry on doing a Roland Swartz.